guys thank you so much for checking out our channel the andersons i really appreciate all the persons who have been subscribing liking sharing commenting really appreciate it big up on yourself if this is the first time you guys are checking out our channel click on the subscription button down there so and if it is you're wondering what to do next click on the notification bell that suggests that you see all the videos after we put it up so today's video is <laughs> today's video is a very interesting video i'll be showing you guys when we do for catch for catch my wife yes and actually it's cooked with the cook the first time and that she tastes my cooking she's like man my father married a guy <laughs> so the same formula that i used then i'm going to be showing you guys what it is because i'm sure it's still relevant so all of the money i'm out there i'll try to figure out yo i like her and i'm gonna know what we can do for keep her and what we can do for make sure i say yo secret in another video here so stay tuned stay connected big up on yourself <laughs> Welcome back guys, so here I have, I have some chicken that I already um, cut up and prep. Uh, I'll be doing a uh, stew chicken today with Jamaican rice and peas. So I've had the peas already that has been soaking for a while because I know that peas something I kind of add for cook more while. Um, this is the chicken that we're going to be doing the stew chicken with. I've had some, we call that thing again, dry seasoning. Um, pour it all together and this is just really some paprika, some all-purpose, some salt, some cayenne pepper, some cumin powder, you did the other. In a Jamaican language, powder season. <laughs> and here now I have my sweet pepper, Canadian language, bell pepper, or julian, which is red and green pepper. I have jalapeno pepper, which I'll be using today because catch bonnet art for combine at them place here. But the jalapeno pepper is, is almost the same, but just less fruity. Right here I have green onion, Jamaican language, scallion, <laughs> diced up. I have some onions, some garlic, and some tomato that I'll be using to seasoning my chicken. Oh, and no stew chicken is complete without this thing right here, which is Jamaican grace browning. So it's very, very simple, guys. You just throw everything in it and mix it up. Pretty much. So, throwing in my dry seasoning. Oh, and I have a special ingredient that I'm gonna put into it a bit later on because that are the Thai formula. And no Thai dish is complete without that one ingredient. So, stay tuned for see how that by the way. Let me just say that. So, just throwing in all these seasoning together into my meat please on a don't judge my technique I'm no chef okay and then you just mix it up so I try to I like to put my hands into it some persons use their spoon and stuff but I like use my hand because with your hand I get for rub it in yeah <laughs> Jamaica no, no matter but just rub it in just rub it until you feel like everything get a little bit of seasoning everything get a little bit of seasoning and stuff And then you just add a brown, some browning. You don't need a whole lot of browning, by the way, because this is like very, very strong. So you just need a little tip. Or throw until I can't change the stuff. Stop throwing. Malika, stop in nice, my video. <laughs> Sorry about the shouting, guys. That's Malika Jade in the background. So you just rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. 
And there you go, your meat is all seasoned up. And then usually you just leave this for probably like an hour or so just for it to marinate or that's what I did. So I saw that when I cooked this the first time it tied her so I tried to use the same technique that I used then. Right through it because I don't want sugar now. So she have to stay right as well. Chicken is all ready to go and then I put on our pizza as I go on pressure. So I forget about rolling. So you want to make sure so your oil is hot otherwise the oil will splash up on you. I wouldn't want that. So you just go and fry the chicken and look up. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like right now. My chicken is fully browned up. Let's see seasoning. I'm a piece done fresh and thing. I'm throw some skeleton in there, I'm ready to go. So the rice they're ready for going out looking all rice-ish. Tell me guys, all the fun for me. Well properly, you know. I don't drop it more, everybody see on the tire. Alright, so I'm gonna throw in the skeleton and thing right now and I pat on the seasoning and thing and throw everything in like that. Let's it run a little. Oh man, this smells delicious. Okay. So let me just cover this up now. Make that one simmer. Over to you now. So, you know my rice pot, everybody who is not Jamaican and want to cook rice and peas. So let's see, let's soak the peas first, then we pressure it and then you know, it's soft and thing, so that good. So I'm just add some coconut milk to it. Add some seasoning, some scallion. I'm not a scotch bonnet people, but scotch bonnet is usually a must in at this time. Come like it hard to find like a cure for corona. So you know it thing go. So just I'm gonna add my rice to this you now. As I said, don't judge me method, I'm no chef. Mix that round, mix that round, and then, you know, no rice and peas is complete without little butter. Yeah, big old my brother used to say, can I cook better than me? Cover that up. So you just want to make that go and simmer down a little until, you know, water dry out tight and you can see your rice and everything good. And make that go and come down some more, and then the finished product coming soon. So, this is what it looks like right now, guys. Chicken basically done, everything kind of alright. Just add some carrot and some Irish tree to kind of help pick up your gravy and get a nice little flavor and a nice little color. The secret of good stew chicken is really, 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 really in you know, the gravy. I know also in Jamaica, I just rice and gravy, we know the thing there. So as soon as the Irish and the carrot done, if it's a person who like ketchup like me, you can just add some ketchup to it, uh, which I'm about to do in a few. I mean ketchup with everything. Ketchup as a matter of fact, I'm gonna ketchup now. Look at ketchup. Mix that round. Um, at this point, I turned on the stove from medium to high to a little um, underneath medium. 
because I just want this to go and just simmer down basically. You don't really want to cook up because it cook already, you know. So I just want it to go and simmer down. And this is what the rice look like currently. So the rice kind of shelly as you can see. Everything kind of start out, water dry out, so good to go. All done. This is what the finished product looks like. Ready to be served. Ready to get tied. This is what the finished product looks like. Yes, sir. Start a little bit there. Yeah. So, what else are you She said she's tired already. I don't know why she gets so shy all of a sudden. This is what the rice and peas look like. Shelly and ready to go. And all of the above. One stage left and now, and I just. The plating stage, right, wrong part cover. Just a plating stitch. So guys, hey guys, food done. I'm about to test my formula if it still work. Test it. So we have full life food for what it tastes like a chicken. You like a chicken? I like a chicken. So we can have a fella that in here. I eat alone, I don't go with it.